Welcome back, all my stay-at-home soldiers. Tough times indeed. It's very scary and overwhelming. When I feel super anxious, I try to concentrate on the positives. Pollution is down, people are building gardens again, they are being kinder and gentler to each other, helping each other. We're in pajamas a lot. Um, I haven't been this braless since summer of the 89 dead tour. Talk about cooties. So I challenge everyone right now to make a nice comforting meal together. If you're flying solo, virtually enjoy with a friend, take a mental break and just enjoy some food. Today we're going to be cooking a pork tenderloin. Of course, pork pairs best with Pinot Noir. So luckily I've just cracked open a new uh, jug of Pinot Noir, as my best friend's mom called it, Chateau de Cardboard. I can hear my wine snob friends collectively clutching their pearls right now. Wah! Whatever, we're out of work winos. This is the new normal. Anyway, it's cooking wine. I drink it while I'm cooking. And then when the meal comes, I'll open up a sustainably sourced Pinot Noir from the Sonoma Coast, if that makes you feel better. I won't. So, getting our pork ready. I have a foolproof trick to keep your juices inside and your outside real nice and crispy. You can do this with any protein, chicken, fish. This is some real don't tell Jeff shit right here. I've made an aioli, it's mayonnaise, uh, with some herbs, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to gently rub my meat, that's what she said, with this aioli on both sides. Now, people say I should enjoy cooking with fresh herbs. Frankly, I find it tedious. All the chopping and the finely mincing, the oi, who's got time for that? I like to get a bed of herbs on my dish. This is rosemary that I stole from the neighbors. You can get it in any Safeway parking lot or your neighbors. Don't ever buy rosemary, people. So we're gonna make a, put a bed of herbs. You can put down onions, whatever herbs you'd like. No need to cut them. Then we're gonna gently lay our meat right onto that bed of herbs. I've put some olive oil, salt and pepper on some veggies. I'm doing broccoli, cauliflower, celery, and sweet potatoes, which is a great combo with pork. That's all ready to go, seasoned. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes. Now we have stuffing to make this even a more beautiful comfort meal. You can make stuffing with any old bread, bread butts, English muffins, you name it. I, in real life, make pretzels for a living, so I'm doing a pretzel stuffing, shameless plug. So I've chopped up the pretzels and I've made a broth of butter, onions, celery. I didn't have carrots, so I used broccoli. I'm going to sneak this in to get a little more health into our stuffing. If you're just tuning in, my husband is a wonderful man, but he has the palate of an 11 year old boy. So whenever I can sneak in a vegetable, better for me. I have made this vegetarian because I'm using a soup mix for the broth. And to add a little more spunk, some Parmesan cheese. That's gonna go in with the pork at 400 for 30 minutes. With all things porky, you like to have something sweet. So I have a ton of pears laying around for some reason. So I saute the pears in butter and sherry. And when it's done, I'm going to put this on top. If you don't wanna mess with all that, you can use jelly or jam. There's an old joke about what's the difference between jelly and jam. I can't remember it, it'll come to me. Anyway, use jelly or jam and double that on the top of your pork when finished. Pears are my jam, so that's what I'm gonna use. Anyway, folks, stay tuned. I'll show you the picture of the finished meal on my Facebook page. And as always, stay apart, stick together. We're gonna get through this, just keep eating and doing whatever you need to do, all right? Love you. Oh, I remember the joke. It's I can't put my...